hi everyone welcome back to my channel so as you can see i finally figured out a setup on how to make like front facing videos like this i know a lot of you have been asking about that for a while so i finally was able to do it and i'm just not really sure what to do about my background so if you guys don't really like this then let me know and i can see if maybe i can get like a type of backdrop type of thing but I kind of felt like this was a little bit more homier, just kind of like we're sitting here chilling and not like very, I don't know, just like meh, I guess. But I must say that this does feel a little weird to me. I am not used to talking on camera that much. and. You may be able to tell from my videos, but I do talk a lot with my hands, so you will probably see that. Um, but yeah, so welcome to my channel if you are new, and if not, then this is me. Um, and yeah, so today's video is gonna be a I'm trying to look, I'm it's kind of hard. Me, I'm tr I kind of want to look at look at myself but i know i need to look there so please bear with me i'm gonna try to work on it because i can see myself but not really see myself if that makes any sense so i kind of feel like i'm looking cross-eyed a little bit so this is a work in progress if you do like videos like this then let me know if you just rather see me do swatches and not have videos like this then also please do let me know um so yeah so today's video is gonna be a review on the Juvia's Place palette that I did buy. So I did pick up the Zulu palette and I also picked up the Tri palette. So I did pick this up about over a month ago and on my channel I do like to kind of give you an updated review on things that I did try. Um, you can see here that I am wearing um, the Tri palette on my lid right now i did want to make sure that i wore the palette in order to show you guys so i did use the shade maasai on kind of almost like a transition shade and then i went in with tulsi just to deepen up the crease and then i did try ashanti but i just i'll go ahead and get more into detail with this shade um a little bit later as I go on and I put sun on the outer crease of my eye so yeah so all in all well let me start with this one so I did feel like the across the board I did like both palettes I really did but I did feel like Maasai did need to be built up quite a bit and I know it is a light green and it's probably a kind of harder color to make but I did feel like I did need to build it up it's still a really pretty shade but it did need some building up to kind of get this color payoff and with Oromo I did find that it worked beautifully the same with the um, shade Tulsi I didn't feel like I need to build that up quite as much as I did with Maasai and then Oh, I didn't even tell you. I have Koro here on the inner lid here. That is the shimmer that I have all over the lid. I know the kind of glare. You can kind of see it right here. It is kind of like a gold green shift shade. As you can see, it looks very green on my eye. And then we have Chaga here, which was a beautiful shimmer. The same with Kuba and with Curla. I felt like they were across the board the shimmers were beautiful i really did enjoy them and then we had san which i did feel like it wasn't really patchy and it did build up quite nicely it's a very very rich shade but with ashanti i feel like it really only worked for me as kind of like a crease shade like when i'm blending it out by itself but like if i want a rich outer corner like i have here like a deeper one this just did not work for me like at all i felt like no matter how much i built it up i still 
felt like I was just taking away shadow at the same time when trying to build this up. So this, I'm not going to say that it's a complete dud, but I did feel like it just wasn't as rich as the other shades. If anything, I think I would compare it with this um, Maasai shade up here that it did need a lot of building. But besides that, I do feel like it is a great quality palette, especially the shimmers. The shimmers in this palette are unreal. If you haven't seen my swatch video, I did do a swatch video on this. So I will try to remember to link that down below if you do want to check that out. But all across the board, I feel like this was a great palette if you are interested in picking this up. So then we're going to go in with the Zulu palette which looks like this. Now this palette is a very, very bright palette. And this one only has three shimmer shades instead of the four that the Tribe palette had. This one I felt like was more consistent across the board. I didn't have any issues with any of the shades in here. I felt like they all built up very nicely and that they were very, very pigmented. I did find that this shade right here and the purple shade did leave a little bit of staining but with coconut oil i was able to get it off with no problem and so that's not a really big deal with me but if you do have sensitive skin then i would you know think about that before purchasing this because i know with some complexions or with um again skin sensitivities then you might this might be a little too harsh for your skin or for you to be tugging at your eye in order to remove it Although, like I said, with a little bit of coconut oil, I felt like it they all just came off regardless with the coconut oil. But these shimmers, again, I felt like they were super creamy. I love, love, love this green one right here. This one as well, This I don't really like blues on my eyes. Now, if I do decide to keep making videos like this, then you will notice I don't really wear blue eyeshadow. I just don't feel like it goes well with me and now that I dyed my hair this color I kind of feel like it might look a little weird but I actually really like this shade I did use it quite a few times so I again I felt like the performance was definitely great quality the mattes the same I felt like they blended out really well I didn't have any issues with them at all and like I said you know just if you are a little bit sensitive or if you really care about shades staining your eyes then this is probably not the palette for you because i did use these on several occasions and each time they did stain my lids but you know a little bit of coconut oil will help with that as well so yeah all in all i do believe that these palettes do retail for 25 dollars. i did pick them up at ulta when they were on sale i never purchased through the Juvia's Place website. I just am very wary when I purchase from websites like that because the return process, if I end up not liking the, the product, then I feel like it is a little harder in order for me to make returns as compared with Ulta. So I did pick both of them up at Ulta and they do run a lot of discounts and you also can use their $3 off and 50 cent coupon on these palettes as well so i think that they are great quality as you saw again the pan sizes are huge i don't know if i will ever go through one of these palettes especially with all the palettes that i do own or if i will even hit pan on these shades just simply because the palette is the shadow pan is really really big so that is again something that you may want to think of as an investment if you do not own a lot of palettes then maybe that's something that you should think about with this brand but again you can use coupons at ulta in order to make this a little bit cheaper but i do believe that they both do retail for 25 dollars. and yeah so all in all i do feel like these are both great palettes if i had to choose between the two of these then I'd probably choose the Tribe. It has more of my kind of shades. I just, this is really like a lot for like fall. It, I feel like it is a great palette for fall. And speaking of fall, if you guys want to see a video of me and what I think about 
um, what are the best fall palettes in my opinion, then let me know in the comments down below or leave, um, well, I was going to say I'll do a poll, but probably not. So just leave a comment down below letting me know if you would like to see that. But yeah, I definitely recommend this one a lot more. I feel like it's a lot easier to create looks by just looking at this. And then with the Zulu palette, I do feel like I need to think about it a little bit more. The pink and the purple, I feel, is like what I do go straight for or the first row on top. But then with the shimmers, I feel like I'm just kind of thinking about what I'm going to do, especially this shade here. So... I feel like if you're looking for something a little bit more easier, probably the, the Tribe, but they do have more neutral palettes. I don't own them, but I probably will in the future. So yeah, I really, really do enjoy the formula for these two palettes. And that is it. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. And I'm still staring right there when I need to be staring right here. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed already, then please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.